Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law and probate attorney in New York. Today I'm going to speak about uh, guardianship. Before I get to that, please take a look at my website, Frank Bruno Law, or make an appointment. Give me an email, Frank at Frank Bruno Law. Um, I have a uh, an upcoming hearing where I have been court appointed as the attorney for the alleged incapacitated person. So in the area of Article 81 guardianship in Queen Supreme Court or any Supreme Court, there's an area under the mental hygiene law where one person can file a petition alleging, asserting that uh, this person that's an alleged incapacitated person doesn't have capacity. And the, uh, the prayer for relief, the request of the court, is to appoint a guardian of the person in the property. So um, there are attorneys like myself uh, that um, have an emphasis uh, on this field. And, and my area of practice is uh, surrogates court, probate, uh, guardianship, elder law, estate planning, right? a, uh, an interweaving tapestry. Uh, in this field. So I am on a list of attorneys to be court appointed to uh, represent that person um, that was alleged to have been incapacitated. So I've been already appointed to this person and there's going to be a hearing tomorrow. Now the hearings, um, we are in the, uh, the new era where we have Skype for business virtual hearings. So there'll be a, a court appearance. I'll be in my office. Everyone will, will be uh, in different locations, remotely appearing for the court. So later this week, I'll give you a follow-up on the, uh, the court appearance, but the wheels of justice grind slowly, but they're continuing to grind. Be well.